Okay, so this is what the old school is going to look like for the six weeks. So I'm just going to start on number one and remind you of how to do a few things. Uh, this is going to ask for the distance formula. And so distance formula is where you do x minus x squared um, and then y minus y squared. So um, here we have our x1, y1, x2, y2. So I'm just going to plug these in and go. So I'm going to go this direction. So let's see, negative 1 minus negative 3. And then for my y's, I'm going to do 2 minus 4. Okay, so if you do the math on the inside right here, it's going to be 2 squared. This is going to be negative 2 squared. So I'm getting the square root of 8. Now to break that down, you need uh, two numbers, and one of them must have a square root. So this is what it looks like broken down. The square root of 4 is 2. The square root of 2 stays the square root of 2. So this would be what you want for something like number 2. All right, the next one. What's the hypotenuse of a triangle? with legs measuring 2 and 5. So if you draw yourself a right triangle and the legs are 2 and 5, it's asking for the hypotenuse. So it wants the C. So this will just be good old Pythagorean theorem. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So 2 squared plus 5 squared equals C squared. That turns into a 29 equals C squared. And if that's 29, uh, I need to take the square root of both sides and decide if I can break this down. So if you can break it down and simplify it, please do so. If not, you're finished. Now we get down to radicals. This was just like the last old school. If I break down 18, it's going to be 9 times 2. The square root of 9 is 3. The square root of 2, I don't know, so I recopy it. Now what about this 4 that was in the front? Don't forget about it. Bring it down and multiply the two outside numbers. That's what you're looking at. On a problem like this, outside times outside, inside times inside, it looks something like this. What goes into 54 that has a square root? How about 9? 9 times 6. And what's the square root of 9? Well, it's 3. Don't forget about the 8. Bring that back down, and you're going to get 24 square roots of 6. The next one's probably new for most of you. This is the only new thing on the old school. So on something like this, uh, you first want to look under the square root. And if you can simplify the numbers, please do so. So like in this case, that will reduce to one third. The next step is to split the square root into separate parts, okay? And if you can actually take the square root, do so. So the square root of 1 is just 1. The square root of 3 is the square root of 3. Now, in the past, your teachers may have just let you leave your answers, uh, what's considered ugly. What we have to do now is we do not want a radical in the denominator. Okay? This is a new thing. We don't want a radical in the denominator. So what we do is something called rationalizing. So let me recopy this and show you what I mean. Rationalizing is a trick in math where you multiply by what's on the bottom over itself. And this is legal because you're just multiplying by 1, the number 1, in a very creative fashion. Um, and you just do top times top, bottom times bottom. And the purpose of this is because when you do the square root of 3 times the square root of 3, it's, a, it's the square root of 9, which is 3. So it cleans it up, and now there is no longer a square root in the bottom. So this is what you want. These two, I will show you the answers, but factoring is old stuff. So to factor these two numbers that multiply to 36 and add to negative 15, that's a negative 12 and a negative 3. Uh, so you should have this when all is said and done. This one factors a little different. You're looking for a combo that multiplies to 5 and adds, I'm sorry, that's a 4. You always do the first and the last. So multiplies to 4 and adds to 5. So that's just going to be a 4 and a 1. So you could do factoring by grouping if you like. Um, I am a bigger fan of trying to reason through it and guess and check. But when all is said and done, that's what that one should look like. So 2, uh, 2. Actually, that is not working, is it? Hmm. Let me try something else.